Hello there, greetings everybody, and welcome here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph, I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So we're here for another episode of Ranking the Songs. It's a bi-weekly episode that we do every two weeks. And I've chosen an album for this called Misplaced Childhood by Marillion. So basically what I do here is I take the uh, songs on the album and I just rank them. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Nothing, nothing too fantastic. In this case, very fantastic. Every song on here is a super song. There's no bad songs in here. I like them all. If there's a couple tracks that are a little bit weaker, they're at the bottom, but they're not necessarily bad songs. So we have... For me, I'm going to rank them according to uh, how I like them, my uh, my favorite to my least favorite. But I'm going to rank them for you guys from my 10th to my first or my least to my best or my worst to my first, however you want to say it. So we're going to start out with the number 10 song, which is a one of the longer tracks on the album. And it has uh, sweets, of course. There are five of those sweets in the song. It's called Blind Curve. I like this song a lot, but the, if I had one thing to critique about it, it's a little bit meandering. That's it. There's nothing else bad about it. It's perfect in every sense. So it's going to come in at number 10. Number 9 is Waterhole. I like this song a lot too. Again, it's not my favorite song on the album because I like other songs better. That's this is just the only way that you can say that about this particular track. The next song up, Pseudo Silk Kimono, which is the opening track. It's a, just a little bit of a, a, it's just a little bit, that song. Absolutely killer. I love it. Whenever I hear that, it just reminds me of the whole album instantly. So that's my number eight song. Number seven, White Feather. That is the last track on the album. A killer. I love this track. Um, lots of good stuff going on here. Uh, I think Fish's voice is fantastic on this particular track as well. Next up is The Lords of Backstage. Another really good later song for the album. Um, again, lots of great instrumentation on this particular track as well. Lords of Backstage, number six. Number five, Heart of Loth... Loth Lothian, I think that's how you say it. This one is a very emotional song. I like, I like the whole kind of, um, such an emotional feel. But you know, it's it's. I never used to think of Marillion as an emotional band until I really started listening to the lyrics and to Fish's voice. I mean, he really does kind of put his heart on a sleeve in a lot of ways. So number five, Heart of Lothian. Number four. Lavender. This is one of the big tracks on the album. I do think this is quite good. It's very emotional. The lyrics on here are fantastic. You know, as it is on just about every track, but this one, this is one of the ones that I like quite a bit more. Um, when I am king, dilly dilly, you will be queen. Yeah. And it's got this picture here. It's a really emotional, emotional track, you know. I think he's basically singing about his childhood on this particular song. I mean, I think the whole album is pretty much about that, but this particular track reminds me of that, especially with the picture that goes with the album song lyrics. Okay, the next track up, of course, is Kaylee. That's the big uh, kind of hit, the one and only hit that they've had. Um, Lavender was another kind of fairly big hit as well, but the song Kaylee... Got a lot of radio airplay. It was a surprise hit for them. I do like it quite a bit still, though. Um, number two is Bittersweet. Um, this is a strong album instrumentally. Lots of catchy hooks. Lots of catchy uh, beats to it. I think this um, this whole album has a lot of those kind of emotional hooks on it and this is one of the best ones on the album and then the number one song without a doubt um uh better than the other songs but not 
not by a lot. These songs are all really close. It was like really separating hairs here. But this song, Childhood's End, um, on Misplaced Childhood, absolutely killer. I love the lyrics. I love the whole feel of this song. I love to sing along with the song. It's the one song on the album that I love to sing along with. Um, absolutely my favorite song on the album. Um, and of course, it um, is also the title of the Arthur C. Clarke book as well. So Childhood's End from Marillion with Finish First. So I'm just going to reiterate them one more time. But this time I'll give me the correct order from top to bottom. Childhood's End, number one. Bittersweet, number two. Kaylee, number three. Lavender, number four. Heart of Lothian, number five. Lords of the Backstage, number six. White Feather, number seven. Pseudo Silk Kimono, number eight. Number nine is Waterhole. And last but not least, Blind Curve. This is a song that probably, is a, I think what's hurting it is probably it's, it's fairly lengthy and not nearly as catchy. A little bit more of a laid back track, I think. It's so there you have it. Those are my rankings of the songs on the album Misplaced Childhood by Marillion. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please hit the like and subscribe. That's much appreciated. Any comments you have, put them below. I'll try to answer them all as quickly as I can. Sometimes I like to collect a bunch of them and answer them at once. but um, And it depends on the day of the week. Thursdays are a tough day, trust me. But... Uh, I think I'll probably get a chance to answer them tonight, the ones that came out for yesterday's, and this one maybe probably Friday night. So anyways, uh, hit the notification bell, and we will see you next week when we'll be doing album sides this time. And I hope to see you then, so take care and have yourself a good night. Say la vie.